Hello! Welcome to my channel, my name is Max, and today we are going to be doing a new cast challenge that I made up, like, a couple days ago, because I thought it would be kind of interesting, so we're gonna see how it goes, but, uh, yeah, I just have a random starting sim, and I'm gonna basically just explain what we're gonna do to them. So, I have a hard time believing this challenge is actually something that nobody's come up with, it just, I don't, I don't really understand. <laughs> I feel like there's definitely people have definitely come up with it before that's how I feel I there's no way but um I haven't seen any videos I tried to look it up I haven't seen any videos by a name that I can imagine this challenge going with so I guess it's a new challenge this challenge is called making a sim backwards believe it or not that's what you do uh so you start with the last step that you normally do and normally my last step in making a sim is shoes then I go to accessories and then bottoms and tops or just full body, whatever, do the outfit. Then do the body, skin tone, skin, uh, like tattoos and skin details. And then we do the hair, the makeup, the skin details, and then the facial features. I thought this would be hard. At least it would be for me. I'm sure there are people who would not have a hard time with this, but I'm not one of those people. So I thought it would be a fun challenge to try. So without further ado, I am going to get into it. I would also love, uh, feel completely free if you're a different person other than me <laughs> to do this challenge. I'd love to see how it went, because uh, I think that would be fun. But we're gonna start with shoes, which I'm gonna be honest. I never spend that long on shoes. I don't use most of these shoes because I just don't look through them but I have some really cute shoes and that's kind of a shame that I don't really spend more time looking at my shoes so so it's starting to approach summer and honestly I'm feeling like a summery vibe sim would suit what I am going for today I think I want to go summery but also slightly Haley from Stardew Valley because I am a little bit obsessed right now and that's okay you know it's okay to have healthy obsessions I like these I don't know, I, I I feel like there's a lot of really pretty shum shummery, no, summery shoes that I could go for. This is not my first time attempting this exact sim and this exact idea that I'm having for like a sim, which is summery Haley from Stardew Valley. Uh, but the first time I made a really bad mistake and I also was just really tired and I wasn't having a good time. Uh, but mostly I was just made a really bad mistake and I just didn't want to keep it. So I scrapped the whole video. <laughs> I'm also probably going to make it so I can't go back to other categories because I know that you normally do when making a sim normally go back and look at things but if we're like looking at this in reverse order you don't if you don't have the skin details done you're not gonna start looking at shoes do you know what I mean like you wouldn't go forward I guess because in this challenge going backwards is going forward so yeah, I'm gonna try to not go back. Once I am done with the category, I'm pr I'm gonna stick to it. So it's a bit of a make no mistakes too. I honestly think that this challenge would be just fine if you did go back though. That's fine too. I like these shoes. Let's go for these ones. I'm gonna try not to think about it too much because honestly, I think too much and it just takes too long to make sims. I'm gonna maybe go for nail polish, we'll see. I'm thinking yellow and blue because I really love that color palette. Like, I really, really love that color palette. So the color palette I'm thinking is orange. I think I always need to spend way longer on these categories. I normally don't spend much time on these categories, but I feel the need to now that, like, the first thing that I do. You know? It's weird. I wonder if I'm going to spend less time on the other things then. I don't really think I need many accessories at all for this look, honestly, on the body. None of these are giving super summary to me. I could probably go with some bracelets though. Okay, now I'm on to clothes. Now I am thinking a dress. Um, but I was also thinking a dress last time and you do not even want to know how long it took me to actually find one. And I didn't even like it that much. So this isn't exactly what I was thinking, but it is cute. I actually quite like it. I wonder if I'll actually be, be able to come up with a decision at the end of this when it comes to the outfit. Cause I don't really foresee that happening, but okay. It's hard to imagine what these will look like on the finished sim when I don't know what the finished sim is gonna look like, which is just like part of the challenge, of course, and it's just like an interesting part of it, I guess. Okay, after going through every piece of full body CC I own, I have a couple of options. 
So this one, which I don't love the swatches of. This one, this one, this one. I like this one. I think I'm going to... Anyway, we are going to move on to the body. So I am actually going to do... This is the only exception in my head. I'd like to do the skin tone before the skin details. I just feel weird about not doing it first because especially makeup uh, too, because they just don't fit on all skin tones and I wouldn't want to like change their skin tone at the end and it'd be completely wrong. So, or like the completely wrong colors. So I think I'm gonna change that now. I might go for one of the lighters for today. That one's okay. I honestly might've just picked the same one I already had. I don't know. But next we're gonna move on to skin details down here because that's normally the last thing I do out of this whole category so I'm probably just gonna go up. Oh I got this okay so I'm a little bit obsessed with this Bex's Punch Body Overlay by my love Sims 3 Melancholic. It is so cute. Um I don't know which one I want to go for. I think either this one or this one. This one or this one. I quite like that and then I'm gonna add my usual uh, all stretch marks. <laughs> I do that every time. And then, and then she can have a birthmark. And she can have herself, oh, you can't see it. And she can have herself a nice little birthmark. It might be covered by the dress. I can't tell. Next, body scars. And next, tattoos. I worry, I worry that the wet body shine might go over this, the dress, which I don't like the idea of happening. So I'm gonna make sure it doesn't do that. Okay, it doesn't. I actually thought it would, but it doesn't. Yay. Okay, now we're gonna move on to bodies. So to baddies. That's right. Baddies. Um, hmm. I like this body person, but I feel like I just used it on a sim, and I don't think I did it in like a cast video, but I'm pretty sure I just used it on like one of my gameplay sims. So holy crap, that's weird. Okay, I think that's what that we are done with the um like not portrait part of the body now on to the portrait part i suppose so we are going to start with hair because that's normally the last thing i do maybe yeah yeah it is okay uh i think the nails might be messing with this hair so i'm gonna have to make sure that none of the other the hair that i pick isn't messing with anything because I'm feeling like going blonde because Haley from Stardew Valley, duh. Yeah, the nails might become somewhat of a problem. They are messing with most hairs, so. So I'm going through every single hair that I have a second time because I feel like maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed the perfect one. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix what I'm assuming is the nails because, yeah. Okay, so I gave her these cute yellow and blue nails and this hair because I'm done thinking about it. <laughs> I've already looked through every single hair twice, so like, now on to the makeup. This is gonna be the hardest part so far, which does not make me happy because it's already been hard. The hair, the makeup and skin details, I mean, uh, because I don't have the facial features done and that's the most critical thing. I don't think I'm allowed to like shrink the eyes. Wait, well, I am. Okay. I never do it when I'm making The Sims features. I do it when I'm making The Sims contacts, so... I think I can do that just because that's what I normally do and yeah that makes sense. Fortunately I can't change the eye shape though which is a little bit um not fun for me. I probably do have to pick the eye color which I normally do at this point too so I'm thinking mm, probably blue. I normally don't like blue eyes because blue eyes stare and stuff but you no. Know, Haley from Stardew Valley. I like these ones somewhat. The sooner I pick something, the sooner I can mess with their facial features. So I have to keep telling myself that. It's really hard to make any decisions like this. I'm not gonna lie. I know that I really like these eyes, so I'm just gonna have to put some faith in the fact that I like them and actually use them. I just realized I kind of cheated because I normally start with face paint and I just started with face paint. Now I was supposed to end with face paint. But other than face paint, I normally go up. So I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go for this. I feel like it would be pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, makeup is done. So now we're gonna go to accessories. And I'm gonna start with necklaces. Which is actually fine because I already have her outfit done. 
Okay, I like that. And then I'm going to try to do some lashes, which again, really hard to do when I don't know her eyes are going to look like. Okay, I actually really like these. Uh, I don't know if they're new, but I just got them. Obscurus eyelashes and six. They're all in six. Yeah, they're gorgeous. On to piercings. I'm going to start at the bottom first, just because that feels like normally not what I do. It normally isn't something that I think about very depth, but I'm pretty sure I normally start at, start at the top. Ooh, I like these earrings. I feel like I haven't gotten enough of the pinks and oranges in the outfit. Like, at all, actually. I haven't gotten any pinks. Maybe we're not going pink after all, <laughs> then. Maybe we're just going orange. But we don't have very much orange going on either, unfortunately. It's fine. The earrings are cute, though. Now onto hats, which... I really don't know what I'm gonna- wait, no. Actually, not onto hats. I didn't finish piercings. Silly me. I could get the sim streaks in her hair, because this uh, kind of works with it. But I don't know if I like any of the swatches for her, really. Now onto hats. I really don't know what I'm gonna do for this layer. Oh wait, I think this actually goes with the, the hair. Oh, that's cute. Well, this matches the earring, so... Yeah, we can go with that, even though they're both on the same side, which bothers me a little bit. I don't know why, but I, I'm going to keep that. So now finally we are on to skin details. We are going to start from the bottom and go to the top once again, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> okay, everything in this category is complete. So now we're going to do skin details. This looks so weird. <laughs> This is so odd. Sorry, I had to leave for a second because a random cat just walked into my house. <laughs> she was very friendly, <laughs> but she was not mine. So I had to let her go, unfortunately. I want a cat. Oh, I should start from the bottom of skin details, shouldn't I? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, well, yeah, I probably should. It is quite strange that I'm almost done making the sim and I'm doing skin details. That doesn't feel right. I also feel like this has been longer than I normally take to make sims. Oh, okay. No, not doing that. She's quite scary right now, but I do think I am done with skin details, which is crazy. Uh, so now I'm going to be working on the facial features, which I'm actually quite excited about because I feel like this might uh, fix every problem I am having, which isn't I don't, I don't know if problem is the right word, but not knowing what she's going to look like anymore. I also don't have a particular order I normally do the facial features in, so I'm really just going to do all of them until it feels right. I feel so free now that I can actually edit her facial features. I know it doesn't look fabulous right now, but like, I just need some trust in the process. I don't know, something weird. Something's weird. Hmm, how do we feel about this? I feel like since she had such huge eyes before, I just need to shrink them. I think I just need them to be tiny. Okay. I think I like her face. I do. I do. I think I like her face. So I'm gonna do her eyebrows now, uh, including the shape, because I edited the shape a little bit, but I normally do that during the period where I do her skin. Or, sorry, her features, but I do it the most when I'm doing eyebrows. She looks quite sad, and I don't blame her. The process in which she was made is traumatizing, maybe, for her. You'll ever write fanfics in your head, because I just I just wrote a fanfic in my head of that cat earlier being mine. It's normally not what people write fanfics about, but that's what I like to write fanfics about. Okay, I cheated a little bit. I added a hairline. It's not quite the right color, but it's fine. I just thought it suited her better. I think I like her. She didn't really turn out exactly as I had really imagined, but I do think I like her. This challenge was really hard. <laughs> if you are looking for a challenging cast challenge, this is this is it. It was really hard. Like, I mean that. I mean, I really do. So I'm gonna give her a name. Misty Mills. Sure. She, her. She's gonna be bye and probably have a higher voice. Feminine walk, I'm feeling. That's not feminine. Oh, yep, that's not feminine either. Actually, I don't like how it looks. Never mind. Oh, I just made her an elder. Yeah, I think I do like her. I think I do. She's gonna be Sulani loving because... I can't see her being anything else. So I randomized until it gave me either Child of the Ocean or Child of the Islands and then just kept the other ones. So she's generous, perfectionist, and Child of the Islands. 
But yeah, that is her, Misty Mills. I hope that you like her. I don't know if this challenge is hard or if I'm just bad at it. I think it's just hard, to be honest. But like in a good way, in a fun way. I, yeah, I had fun. I hope you did too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Thank you.